Winning to me is like an addiction. I just love that feeling. And the amount of work and time I put into kiting is, is crazy. And sometimes you think like, why am I training all these crazy tricks? And why am I putting my life on the line? But then when everything comes together during a competition and you come out on top, it's like the biggest reward you can get. So there's two big air competitions in a year. Of course, we all know the king of the air, but we also have the Mega Loop Challenge. The Mega Loop Challenge is a crazy big storm event, pretty much. So one of the hardest things about this event is that you need the perfect conditions. You need side shore wind, it needs to be at least 35 knots. And 48 hours before the contest happens, they're gonna give you a call. I always like to challenge myself. So this time we got the call and I was supposed to go to the US. And I was like, I'm gonna change my flight, I'm gonna change my whole schedule and compete in this competition. So it is the morning of the Mega Loop Challenge. Crazy gusting 49.52 it says here. It'll be wild, man. The storm was just increasing by the hour, and that's when the goosebumps starts. So I'm pumping my kite here and there's sand flying around. People are wearing like ski goggles to protect their eyes from the sand. And it's, it's like a war zone. Time for action. When the North Sea churns and the Southwester comes through hard, that's when it's time for the Red Bull Megaloop. Who will become the Red Bull Megaloop champion of 2019? powers now as uh, Kevin going for a big high loop here. Eerste. Lekker zeg. You see all the riders, they're super focused and they're trying to get in their, their game plan and you definitely feel the tension. So in round three I had to go up against Nick Jacobson and Gary van der Kop. And I knew I had to go big. You can put days and years and years into training and then it comes down to those 12 minutes. The green flag is up. We are starting. There he goes. Kevin Lowry. Looping it. Still floating sideways. Unbelievable float from Kevin. That is massive for Nick Jacobson. Laid back roll, very controlled, and he's gonna stick it. That's insane. Now, for me, that had me well. And Nick and I both made it through to the semi final, so yeah, gonna go again. <laughs> the tricky part of competing is that you don't wanna think about it too easy. So I was like, oh, okay, the semi finals, I got this, you know, I got a really high score on the previous heat, so let's do it. Steven Akkerdijk, Liam Whaley, Kevin Lowry and Osmond Smith are going to battle it out for a position in the final. Nice big loop. He hit a gust there. Liam Whaley has had a blowout. He's managed to swap kite. Everything is still possible. Hold it back. Liam Whaley, he's going to go through first by this break. Oh, it's a oh. massive mega lift from Kevin Andre. Oswald Smith going into second place then. This has now become a problem for Kevin Langeray. I didn't make it through. Fuck, I hate losing. It's just horrible. You know, when I compete, I want to win. And if I lose, it's like I failed. But then I always try to reassess and see what I did wrong. And, and it also gives me a lot of motivation to push even harder next time. In first place, we've got Ross. Dylan Player! For next year, I know what to do. I just gotta go even bigger, throw some more crazy tricks in there, and I can't wait for that event to happen.